Aaron, California's top cop, Attorney General Javier Becerra, was one of several attorney generals who took to Twitter saying they would challenge this plan in court, Becerra even making a hashtag out of it. Wednesday, the Trump administration announced a plan to try and heat up a sagging coal industry. The contrast between our approach and the Green New Deal were plans like it couldn't be clearer. EPA commissioner and former coal lobbyist Andrew Wheeler announced the Affordable Clean Energy Rule. It's set to replace an Obama-era rule known as the Clean Power Plan. That was a plan that sought to encourage utilities to rely less on coal-fired power plants and rely more on natural gas, solar, wind, and other lower carbon sources. Rather than Washington telling Americans what type of energy they can use, or how they can travel, or even what they can eat, we are working cooperatively with the states to provide an affordable, dependable, and diverse supply of energy. California Governor Gavin Newsom called the plan deceptively named. He also says it prioritizes corporate greed over people's health. Attorney General Javier Becerra called the move gutless. The administration has once again decided to backslide on an initiative to help America get cleaner and be healthier. And for California, uh, that's, that's a non-starter. We cannot afford to go back to the old polluting ways. Becerra is one of several state attorney generals who plan on suing over the decision. American coal consumption is at a 40-year low, with economists saying it's mostly due to free market forces. But supporters of the president say this shows he's following through on his campaign promises. Our air and water are the cleanest they've ever been by far. That's not true according to the American Lung Association. Air has gotten measurably worse in states like California, with four in ten Americans now breathing what's considered unhealthy air. And if precedent is any indicator, this could get tied up in the courts. Obama administration's clean power plan never actually went into effect after more than two dozen states sued. The Supreme Court put a stay on that decision in 2016. Aaron, it has been in the courts ever since then. It's been tied up in the courts for and probably going to be tied up in the courts for years to come. Most likely. All right. Thank you, Christopher.